All right, guys. So, Crypt of the Necro Dancer pinball. This is something, something different. Definitely different art style, and it's so funny. This music coming out of a little boom box on the DMD, and I know the DMD doesn't show really great through the camera, but it's really nice for me. This little DMD with the the boom box. And it's playing the sound and all the bass notes. So there's no bass notes, so it sounds like a typical, well, probably a little bit well worse than an 80s boombox. It gives it that effect, though. And of course, this was uh, themed after a video game, I believe. I've never played that video game, so I don't know anything about it. Um, I think we just need to kick into this one, guys, and see uh, see how it plays. Let's give it a go. Let's make sure we got enough sound here too. Zone one. That sounds pretty good. Got bass now. Can feel it through the cabinet. <laughs> oh, come on. And I tilted it. <laughs> Zone two. Lost the heart. All right, so my turn it down just a turn. Yep, that's pretty good. Got these little animated guys that I've got to shoot. Interesting thing about this table too, with the little ball that has this glow around it, which is quite nice. Uh, it certainly helps you really see the ball, and I think probably with this sort of graphics and that, without it, maybe it's a little hard to see the ball. It's got a competing sort of relatively flat colors. Pretty funky music going on here. trying to hit these guys. Not oh, doing very well. There we go. The golems. Can I just backhand that? Some clunking piano sounds. Beating heart. Rather off, off sounding piano there, obviously on purpose, but for once actually got it back in with the button nudge. Still trying to go after this little golem here. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Can hit him on the way down, that's good. Okay, got them all. And jackpots. Digging toy. Yeah, I do, do like that um, light around the ball. I wouldn't want it for all tables necessarily, but it would be skip boss. Uh, no, I don't want to skip the boss. Um, but it works well on this table for sure. Oh, wow. I think that was my fault for sure. Second say. <laughs> That's the problem, guys, with the way that the, the nudge is implemented. Two taps in rapid succession and you tilt it every time. Some other little dudes here. We got to shoot. Ah, no. <laughs> uh, 
that tilting on the nudge is not good. Let's uh, give it another go. This is very, very strange so far, guys. Kick back. Oh, wow. Oh. Didn't actually see him when I hit, hit him. I like the little 8 bit graphics. What are those things next to that diamond? What are those? And I can't backhand that. Shoot the flashing lane. Okay, I've got to get over to the left there. Shot. The music is hilarious. Like it, it starts. Uh, I feel like it starts getting into a groove, and then it just does something wacky. <laughs> wow! Ah, that was my fault again. I like the little speakers oh, booming away on the on the DMD. idea why each of the each of these lanes have the letter C there. Again don't read the rules guys always just get in there and play the game have fun I haven't managed to get up that top bit there either I'm still shooting these flashing lanes an interesting backhand straight through there. Oh, I think that's because the, the music goes for a certain period of time and then I actually, then you lose the ball. These sounds. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is, it's rather strange. No, it's complete silence here before we I love at least all these little uh, notes. I didn't see that before. It's actually pretty cool. Where am I going now, guys? I've got to kill, to kill the golems again. back anyway. Oh, we got multi ball happening. Got a jackpot somehow. Oh man, I have no idea what is going on. <laughs> These sounds. Oh, someone locked me up. 
I'm going crazy here. It's good now. Oh, skip to boss. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's skip to the boss. What happens here? Shoot these guys a bit better than shooting the golems. More going, going on. Interesting sound effect. Oh. Oh. Wow, that was my fault. Got him. Now shoot the boss lane. Oh, the base lane. The base lane, not the boss lane, guys. It's the base lane. I'm backhanded from here, though. No, too close. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, lost the heart. Damn it. Oh, one heart left. I think that's just how this... I don't know, I'm confused, guys. I'm seriously confused. Now we've got multi ball happening. Getting balls until the timer runs out or the heart runs out. Yeah, fall out and then yeah. So there's yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a different dynamic. <laughs> okay, all right. I think that's that's qu that's quite enough of that. <laughs> quite enough of that. We'll. Uh, Hop back in guys, and we need to give it a spacey score and come back. Ah. What have I just been exposed to? This is very strange. <laughs> this is very strange to say all. And look, I've only had a few games of it. Um, I'm still trying to work it out and you know, the, the ball and the, the timers and things and the hearts and stuff I don't know haven't worked that out at all again I like to just keep playing it until I sort of work out those things that's like how I like to do it but um, wow okay well we need to get through the list guys we need to score this thing so the theme now as I said this is from a video game um, how the theme translates into a pinball table is really what we're talking about, more so than the sort of theme itself. And I think it's a tricky one. Um, you know, it's a lot of 8-bit sort of graphics and art in here. It makes the it makes it look a little sparse, but it's you know, I mean, we'll talk about the artwork after. But um, I'm just a little confused with it. I mean, clearly, if you know more about the game, I mean. It's a necro dancer, it's clearly got a good music theme and so forth. The music though. <laughs> this table is a real oxymoron. Anyway, I, look, the theme, it doesn't scream out to me. Like the title of it is really cool. The Crypt of the Necro Dancer, I think that is actually really cool. But yeah, overall, I don't know. So I'm, look, I'm going to give the theme uh, six, I think. A six on the theme, guys. All right, next one is the atmosphere. Well, what a bizarre atmosphere this is. As I said, I felt like someone should lock me up at 1.3 there. It's a very strange atmosphere. Um, again, it's the music that really does you in. And then the strange bonging sounds at the at the end. Uh, it's not, it's, in terms of atmosphere, it's got one, but I don't know if I like it. I don't know, guys. It's very strange. I'm, I'm going to put on on the, on the low side. It's going to be a five for me for atmosphere. Uh, it's really not that sort of table. 
layout realism. Could, it be, could this be a real table? Does it sort of shoot and that stuff? Yeah, it's sort of it reminds me a little bit of Austin Powers actually, just in terms of lots of ramp, you know, just ramps coming back around fairly empty. Um, I mean, it works, it works as a pinball, it's, it's fast, it's, you know, from that sort of perspective. Uh, so it might get something more on the flowing score, but yeah, I think uh, layout realism, not super great. And some of those graphics just sort of look a little bit, a little bit half-baked, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a six on the layout realism table artwork i know they've gone for an 8-bit theme it doesn't to me look like enough uh, enough going on and it just looks a little bit basic quite like the artwork in the middle of the table you know it's, it's done well but it doesn't scream out to me like oh this is just awesome art it's good in relation to the style that they're going after I'd give it a, I'd have to give it a six. I was erring on a seven just in terms of the actual style that they're going for, but it's still not great, really overall. You know, it just looks a little bit, a little bit flat and not finished really. But I know that's probably what they were sort of going for. Anyway, I'm giving it a six. Um, the animations, there's not a huge amount of animations going on. Little guys walking around, the golems and the other guys. Um, Necro Dancer guy just moves around a little bit. There's really not a lot going on here, guys, in terms of that. So I'm going to get that a five. Uh, the graphical effects, nothing outstanding in this game uh, in terms of effects that I really saw. Like, yeah, I mean, it's quite a nice little graphical thing around the ball. Like, that gives it a few points. But yeah, it's, it's not great uh it may even be a four i think for graphical effects lighting uh it's very sort of just sort of a, a flattish table we just have a look at it again i'm just gonna get this freaky thing happening um you know the lighting oh the lighting's fairly flat it does make a difference actually just with this little little ball actually providing a little bit of light and shadow uh, it's not it's not too bad though it's not great though so I like just a lot of little reflections and stuff it's yeah you know it's sort of cool I'll give it a seven seven for lighting DMD uh, look it's, re it's really cool with the little uh, speakers there's no doubt about it it's a great little design the speakers pumping away as, it, as the game progresses very clear what's going on in the middle of the DMD. Again, a nice, really graphic, good graphical element. I give this a good solid eight on this table for the DMD. Uh, the music, and um, this is where, uh, <laughs> who likes this music, guys? That's what I wanna know. Because as I said, it feels like, and not this obviously, this, this music that happens here, but in the game itself. It just, it feels like it's starting on something really cool and cranking and then it just goes weird, it's got weird notes in it and I know, you know, they've done that on purpose. Uh, I, I can't, I can't get into it, it's, it's doing my head and <laughs> it's doing my head in. It's really weird because I'm like, oh, this sounds good and it's like, oh no, no it doesn't. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to give the music, and it's such a shame because it's obviously a big part of the whole Necro Dancer uh, theme, but it's not good. It doesn't make me want to come back and play it, so I'm sorry, I'm going to have to give it a five. Sound effects, again, equally weird. Uh, just strange, I mean, there was a few there that were connecting, but there was just some weird stuff and the end bonging and things didn't grab me again I'm giving it, giving it a five on the sound effects call outs um, was there many I can't even really recall a lot of them so they didn't really have a, a lot of effect on me they certainly they weren't terrible but yeah again I think we're mid-range here guys with the call outs I'm giving it a five uh, flow well, it's definitely got good flow 
uh, because the table's so open and you know there's just all these ramp shots and straight through the middle it, fl it flows it's fast um, if you like that sort of game then yeah you, you, you're gonna like this it flows really nice it's not clunky I think it actually probably does deserve an 8 on flow uh, shot interest uh, I don't know I didn't feel like it was that that deep what was what was really going on and just followed a, you know, a few of the, the lights and then the golems took ages to sort of kill off and I don't know maybe you know I didn't get into the, the full guts of the game but it didn't interest me a lot so again I'm going to give it a, a five on shot interest it's just I could feel like I, I could get a little bit bored uh, just from the shot interest itself on the challenge side of things uh, look, reasonably challenging again. A nice flow and fastness of the table feels like the challenge. To sh you know, shooting the, you know, when you're actually shooting it and getting into it, there's a bit of challenge there. So I think it deserves to be a little bit higher there. Um, I think I'll give it a seven on the on the challenge side of things. Physics feel pretty good. I didn't find anything that was weird going on in there. Again, fairly consistent uh, with other originals with Zen, with the physics. Um, probably going to yeah, still be up in the sort of 8 area for the physics. Uh, the fun factor, well, it's a shame because I think this, this, this table sort of cries out that it's going to be really, really fun. And I'll have to try this, say, with, uh, with my kids and some other people just to sort of see if anyone else goes, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> this is really fun. Uh, I wasn't having much fun and I think this table should have a lot more fun to it so I'm going to mark this down pretty harshly uh, it should be fun, it's not I think it's a 4 replayability morbid curiosity brings me back to this table <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting Like I, I feel like I, I need to keep coming back to it though and really try and see and so it's rear playability is going to get a low score because it, I'm not doing that because I like it, but I sort of need to just come back and curiously see if there's anything I'm missing and if it gets any better or not. But right now, replayability for me is pretty low. I'm not going to want to fire up and go straight into this table at all. <laughs> it might be a little harsh, but it's pretty low. Now I'm giving it a giving it a four, guys. Replayability is not high for me. Spacey's X factor. Well, I don't know if I give points for just strangeness. Um, I think with the, the with the eight ball, you know, you know, sorry, eight ball, the eight bit theme. I think that does deserve a little bit. You know, I actually really quite like it when you do have things to shoot in in, in the middle. Waiting one day for a really cool Spacey's uh, Space Invaders theme table and really, you know, shoot out the aliens in the middle and have the saucer and stuff and have that all animated in a pinball table. This gets a little bit, you know, towards that with what's going on there in the middle. Um, so, yeah, there's a little bit of an X factor with the table and clearly with the with the with just the difference of it. So, funnily enough, it's going to get a little bit of a boost on the X factor side. and But it's not going to be super high going to get a bonus x factor of three all right guys well that's my spacey score for crypt of the necro dancer pinball hope you enjoyed it hope you got something out of it look out for the next one that's coming along we'll see you then until then ciao for now